quick story, and maybe you can put yourself in the place of this man in the talk. Here's a man, and he's sitting at home. It's about 7 o'clock at night. He's having his third glass of wine, and he's having his 19th wine in his head, complaining about the day and the people that are pushing him around and the problems that he's got and the plans that he's so close to getting finalized because he'll actually then be who he wants to be, <clears throat> that he sits there and he, he slaps his leg like that, and it hurts when he does that, I bite my head. And, and he says, that's it. Tomorrow, I change. No more, nothing in my way. I swear to the heavens that I will be a new man come tomorrow. And with that, he puts down his glass of wine, third one with a dreg left in it. He didn't, he, that was sort of proof to him that he was on his way. And he goes into the bedroom and he walks over to his alarm clock that he usually has set for 7.23 a.m. because that gives him just enough time to rush through his breakfast and catch the train. And he moves it all the way to quarter to seven. Well, this is already a sacrifice, do you understand? I'm going to be up for an additional eight, 28 minutes because now I'm different. Next morning, boo-doop, 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 boo-doop. And before he even knows it, he reaches over and slaps the snooze button and sleeps through the 723 alarm, late for work, and gets fired. Now, how many of you have set alarms for yourself? Meaning, this is it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some real change in my life. I, I get it. I'm not an idiot. I can't keep doing the, the same things and expect a different result. I'm going to have to, dare I say, give up something. Because if I don't give it up, I have to have something to exchange. I've only got so much time. I've only got so much energy. So that's it. Only to find out that the road to, what is it, the, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. But when I'm making an intention, I'm usually making it because I'm already full of knowing that I can't be the same anymore. Yes or no? But where does that nature go? Where does the part of me that knows I have to change the kind of man I am? I can't continue to be this kind of impatient person. I can't punish people with my attitudes anymore. I, I have to stop rushing. I want to spend more time contemplating what's important. How do I, how do, I do that? Because when the, when, when the you-know-what hits the fan, man, I'm really ready to get free. But as soon as the day passes and the evening transpires, the next morning... There's nothing in me that remembers the me that said it's time to change. Am I describing this pretty accurately? So then we think to ourselves, well, I just have to try harder. And so I set an intention to try harder. I could spend the whole hour just on this loop, but I must move on. And what happens? We don't understand the real barrier. The barrier is not what's transpiring outside of us with people and places, the demands on our life that we think we have to continue to serve, by the way. The real barrier is that we don't understand that, yes, there probably is in most of us a real wish to be, and I'll use the, most, the highest word I can use, an innocent human being. And what we don't know and what is the root of this barrier is that there is a part of us that has absolutely no interest whatsoever in change. It just wants to change the things around it so that it can feel that it's changed when it looks at those things. It wants to change its relationships 
so that it can have a temporary new identity as it wrestles with the same nature that's going to bring about in that relationship the same thing it did in every other relationship that you have ever been in. An awakened human being never needs a new plan. A sleeping human being lives from new plans.